Welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to use the roller brush to fill regions and combine it with paper blending to overlay your fills on top of your line work. We'll also look at a few examples of how this works. Let's get started. So when we first open up our project, you'll see that uh, your brush toolbar is all on the left and that is where your roller brush is located. So if you tap on any of the brushes, you'll see all of your different options. And at the very end right here is the roller brush option. And all you have to do is tap that. One thing you'll notice when the roller brush is selected versus any of the other brushes, all of your tools on top are grayed out. So you can't use the roller brush with any of the other tools. You are just using that tool when you're working with the roller brush. If you ever see your toolbars grayed out, just tap another brush and you'll see that all of those options are accessible again. So the roller brush is super simple. Instead of being able to draw a line like you would with uh, a regular brush, the roller brush actually creates a fill as you move it. So um, this is super helpful for filling in regions and working to, to make larger swatches. So let's hide our toolbars really quickly. And now what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to fill a region with the roller brush. So one of the tricks that I like to do is to use the start and end point of the roller brush to create a straight line. So what I'm doing is each of the straight lines here, I'm connecting the beginning and end point and using that as a way to create a straight edge as I'm drawing here. So now fill that in and my last line fill in there and then I'll go back in with my roller brush and I will just grab these little regions and just like that I have filled this entire swatch perfectly uh, with straight edges to complete this diagram by Joshua Jones of Studio Zarin. The next example we're going to look at is by Joshua Gregg, who is a fantastic architect and educator. We'll change our color here and we'll just use that same exact technique. This time, instead of a diagram, we're filling in a shaded area of this sketch to kind of help complete it and make the sketch pop off the page. But again, I'm using the beginning and end point to create a straight line on the end and then I'm going back in and filling in these regions. Then when I zoom out, I have a completed sketch. You can see that there's some other areas in this drawing that were also completed using the roller brush. A detail axon by Tommy Sutanto, really fantastic architect in Australia. And here we're going to use a special technique. So as you can see, I have a layer here that I'm working on. And what I'm going to do is go to my layer actions. Then I'm going to hit this button here, which is my multiply or my blending layer blending. And normally it's on normal, but if I change it to multiply, let's see what happens when I use the roller brush. So as you can see, when I start to fill in this area that I want to add color to, it looks like it's going to cover up all of my lines that are below, but when I release it, all of those lines pop through and I'm left with this really beautiful, clean color. And that is because my layer blending, again, my paper blending is on multiply. And that allows all of the lines that are below to pop through. This works especially well when you are drawing with black lines as your line work, and then you want to add color on a separate layer on top of those lines. Again, perfectly those lines come out and maybe I'll grab the last little bit there. And just like that, I have a really great uh, fill that is covering all of that area. And when we zoom out, we see this incredible, incredible detail drawing that Tommy created. The next drawing we're going to look at is actually a plan by Mike Morrissey, fantastic architect in Florida. 
and we'll change our color here one more time. And this time we're gonna fill kind of a funny region. And instead of using our straight edges, we're actually going to follow the pathway along this area and fill in this little patch of grass here. And you can see that I'm getting all of this detail around the tree because it's following my pen. But on this last part, I want a straight edge, so I just leave it there. And just like that, I've filled in this really irregular shape with the roller brush. Let's look at another example, this time a diagram by Luis Ferruccio, an architect in Oakland in San Francisco. And here he has a diagram, and again, we have some black line work. Uh, I've turned my layer to multiply already, so when I start drawing, you'll see that I don't necessarily need to follow a clean edge. I'm actually kind of sloppy around that, but when I release it, you'll see what happens. And I'm just gonna grab the rest of this line here, finish it up, and you can see perfectly filled edges, the line work comes right through, and that's all because I have the layer set to multiply. If I have it set to normal, you can see that all of that kind of messiness is present, and when we turn to multiply, it all goes right away. Super, super helpful trick, and when we zoom out, we can see this entire beautiful drawing that uh, Luis has made here, both the massing and then a bit of climate information down on the bottom. Not only is this good for details and filling in colors, but it's also a great way to add shadow and shade to a sketch. This drawing is by Alina Fokina, an architect who practices in Berlin. And let's take a look at how we can add shadow to an interior here to help kind of make that space pop, but also to give a bit of realistic depth to the drawing. And again, you can see what I'm doing I've set my layer to multiply, but I'm also using the straight edge, the beginning and end points, to create sharp, clean edge lines. And by making these little bubbles from side to side, you can see that I am making a straight boundary all the way around, and then I'm just going to go back in and grab these little triangles that are left over, and voila! we have added a beautiful sharp shadow to our sketch there. While you can still see everything, all this beautiful detail that she's added on the inside of the sketch. Really, really cool. And you can see here also, she does these amazing trees that she also uses the roller brush with, all the leaves. Just a really beautiful example of the power of the roller brush in addition to layer multiply. The last example that we're going to look at also uses layer multiply trick with the roller brush, this drawing by Joshua Jones of Studio Zarin. You can see he has these little sections here that he's added in a little bit of color to, to add a little diagram. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill in this last one. You can see that there's these figures here though that we don't wanna lose. So as we add in this fill, let's take a look at what happens. As I add this in here, last little bit here, you can see that it's solid. And when I release, boom, those figures come through, the lines all come through, and we've added a beautiful fill to this area that then allows us to complete that section. And look at this amazing sketch in with uh, all the different colors and the, the fill brush that makes it so incredibly easy to use. So those are some tricks. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.